Is GDOT Fast a replacement for fibre to the home? GDOT Fast is all about delivering fibre-like speeds over copper. Field trials carried out by BT have shown that GDOT Fast technology is capable of delivering ultra-fast broadband over a mix of fibre and copper. GDOT Fast is basically VDSL on steroids, so they're able to offer you much higher speeds over your existing copper wires, but in order to do that they have to cut the length of the copper cable even further. So what BT will do is they'll slap on a little pod or a node like this to their existing street cabinet, and you have to be within 500 meters of this to get speeds of over 100 megabits per second. So the main advantage for GDOT Fast and the one application where I could see this being really useful is for apartment buildings or MDUs or multi-dwelling units as we call it in the business where um, the building is quite old and either you legally can't make changes to the building or the residents don't want you to make changes to the building but you still want to offer them higher speed internet so this would be actually quite a viable solution um, given the short distances in, in, in most of those units it, it probably would work out for the best and, and different countries have tried to so say this there is an option for that. The inherent downside to this is beyond that limited application when you move out into the outside world in a world like this and beyond a street cabinet like this where you're putting um, a G dot fast uh, device in a manhole or on top of a, um, a telephone pole you're introducing uh, a point of failure because it's an active electronic device that requires power so water and electricity don't mix and I can tell you from doing fiber to the home for many years I there's not a single manhole where you don't open an enclosure that's properly sealed and water does not tip out now for fiber to the home that's not an issue because fiber optic cables don't conduct electricity so you can literally submerge that thing in water and you, your fiber will still work. This thing on the other hand is going to run into a few problems. The other thing is where do you get the power from? So in a manhole or on top of a street pole that probably doesn't have power so that's another thing that you have to sort out and that can create issues with the council. Where do you get the power from? This, this is the real world challenges of deploying this. So beyond that it's actually quite um, it's, it's, it's actually counterproductive and you judge a tree by its fruits. If you look at the global GDOT fast deployments worldwide, it's actually um, quite limited. I think in the UK they've actually suspended, uh, well, BT has this suspended their GDOT fast rollout and instead prioritized fiber to the home. To me, you know, why not, why not focus on deploying fiber to the home instead of trying to squeeze that last morsel out of um, you know a speed out of your copper cables you cannot fucking possibly tell me that you're saving that much money being within five uh, within a hundred meters of the of the um your, your customers 